with meteorologist Ryan Matouche. All right, welcome back everyone and good Tuesday morning. Here's what we're watching for weather. First things first, starting outside. Always a good idea to see what's currently going on. And the answer to that is not a whole lot to be completely honest. Wind speeds are calm, not a whole lot of cloud cover, but that will all start to change as we head into the second half of the day today. Otherwise, zooming out nationally, our jet stream zooming in from the northwest right here. What that tells us is that cooler air is on the way. The jet stream will dip further to the south, especially as we head into Wednesday and Thursday, and that's just going to allow temperatures to plummet as we head into the middle part of the week. Right now, though, rather mild considering it's the middle of January. We're above freezing this morning, and I think that's a cause for a celebration right there. Winds out of the south southwest, only about six miles an hour. It does bring a little bit of a wind chill to the area, though. So no matter where you are this morning, definitely grab a jacket still out the door. Middle 30s for just about everyone. 32 for Manhattan as well as Marysville. Junction City falling below that 30 degree mark, but everyone warmer than where we were 24 hours ago. Look at all these positives on the map right here. Plus nine for Manhattan, plus seven for Topeka. Yellows and greens indicating that it's already warmer than where we were yesterday. And that trend is going to continue through the afternoon as well. Wind speeds across northeast Kansas for us light for the time being generally five, maybe 10 miles an hour. Notice this southerly direction, though. That is important because with the winds blowing from the south, it's going to allow warmer air to come into the region and that's going to allow our temperatures to skyrocket into those middle to upper 50s, even some lower 60s just a little bit further to the west. So today's going to be a nice day. Get outside, get things done, car wash if you need it because a cold front comes through tonight. And with that cold front, cooler air coming in behind it middle 20s for a good portion of the area tomorrow and then by the afternoon we just don't warm up a whole lot we're stuck in the middle 20s for the time being so with the arrival of this cold front we look for a couple different things temperature change wind direction change and wind speed change so let's talk about winds for the time being coming out of the southwest all morning they're organized they're uniform the same direction but notice our cold front setting up right around three o'clock this afternoon and as it moves through these wind speeds and directions change all coming out of the north 15 to 20 miles an hour. And those wind speeds are going to hang out through the evening tonight, all morning tomorrow, and all afternoon tomorrow as well. Again, 15 to 20 miles an hour could be gusting up towards 30. So you have that cooler air coming in, wind speeds really picking up. Bring those two together and you get wind chill values in the single digits for just about everyone this morning, even some negatives, or tomorrow morning I should say, even some negatives popping up. Then throughout the day, you think those wind chills might go away? You'll be wrong. We're still in the negatives for several different spots. This is six o'clock tomorrow, just after dinner time. So be sure to bundle up, especially tomorrow morning, all day on Wednesday, and then really all day on Thursday too. That cooler air just sticks around. Future track showing some mostly sunny skies for the morning hours. Uh, cloud cover quickly building in by about lunchtime. Though here's four or five o'clock for us. Clouds continue to increase all the way through tomorrow morning. There's eight, nine o'clock for us. And then for the second half of the day, it's still cloudy. Cloudy all day tomorrow, windy all day tomorrow. Temperatures plummeting. It's going to be quite a bit different than what we are expecting for today. 59 for our afternoon high, 27 for our Wednesday. Still on the breezy side all uh, evening tonight, all day tomorrow. Those wind chill values will be a problem as we head into the morning hours of Wednesday and Thursday. 20 for our high on Thursday. Those overnight lows in the single digits and then a slight warm up into next weekend.